Welcome, one and all, to Code Weaver Plays Games. All right, so we're going to be doing a little bit more of The Climb, which I have been doing now and again over the last week, just to get a little exercise, get the blood pumping a little, um, also to get a little bit more use out of my quest, too. Uh, I got lots of fun games to play on there, but uh, this one is uh, one that I find kind of uh, immersive, and I haven't even gone on to the second one, Quest, uh, the, the Climb 2, so we're going to switch right on over into the original game here. Now, I've had some difficulty over the last little while um, have, uh, getting my audio to work correctly while using the stream casting on the Quest. Now, we seem to have sorted that out. Uh, I was clipping and doing some bad stuff on the last stream. So I'm going to go through the practice section again just to show you what it's all about um, in case you come in and uh, check out the series. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. So we're going to do the basic tutorial and the advanced tutorial and then we'll just uh, leap on into the game and we'll do these fairly quickly. So the idea here is that I am a rock climber, in fact. I have two hands, which you will shortly see are going to be in front of me. They are controlled by my controllers. Uh, I don't have to move my hey there, legs climber. to do this. Oh. Welcome to our touch Hello. controller tutorial. This one's for learning the basics. Okay. First, try looking around. Notice how your hands move with the position of your touch controllers. Yep, yeah, there we go. I've got As you climb, you need to be aware of your stamina. The amount of stamina for each hand is displayed on the hand itself. Right. Got it. Okay, so. Okay. To take hold of a grip, use your left or right grip control. Each control maps directly to the hands you see. The distance you are from the wall depends on how far your touch controllers are from your body. Try this out by moving your touch controllers backwards and forwards. Okay, so I'm just doing a quick audio check on this while I'm in the middle of doing my stream. Um, the hand that holds onto a grip whoops. loses stamina, while the one that is not holding gains stamina. While you lose stamina, you start to sweat. Your heartbeat increases and your hands start to tremble. When your stamina is depleted, you will fall. You can improve stamina by chalking your hands. If your hands are chalked, your stamina drains slower and regains faster. All right. Chalk your right hand by holding the chalk button and shaking the controller. A sound will inform you once chalking is complete. So unfortunately, during that quick little bit uh, of a demonstration there, I was fiddling around with my, uh, my audio settings just to make sure that the voices and the game audio weren't overpowering everything. Chalk your right hand by holding the chalk button and shaking the controller. A sound will inform you once chalking is complete. And in doing so, I put my head through the wall, which is why you saw the black uh, spacing. So. Here we go. Uh, with regards to the grip, uh, which you'll see in a moment, uh, this is my grip on the wall, and you'll see my stamina bar is run down as I grip uh, with only one hand. Uh, with both hands, I can let my, my hands relax, which will recover my stamina. So that's going over that. Now we're going on to chalking, which is to see if we can do this. Chalk. Yes, okay. There we go. Chalk your left hand with the left chalk button. Right, so the chalk button, if you can see that is the one that's on the side, it's sort of the grip uh, grip button that I can grab with my middle finger. And so I just hold that down, give my hands a shake, and chalk The status up. of your chalk is displayed on each hand. Hold on to the grip again and see how stamina drains more slowly now. Grip with both hands to regain stamina. You must rest occasionally to regain stamina. Chalk depletes as you climb with every grip you touch. Less chalk means you lose stamina faster and regain it more slowly. All right, now then. look up and find the checkpoint flag. Okay. This shows you where the section ends. Great. Now try climbing higher. Right. First, so. let's get to the save point. Hold on to a grip and push or pull yourself in the direction you want to move. Okay. So I've got myself situated where if I walk right up to that wall, I'm going to be more or less inside my desk. So I'm going to do something that I know I can do, which is to recenter the universe. And that's just to basically put the wall in front of me based on where I'm standing in my apartment so that I've got a little bit of room to move side to side. Now, normally, I don't have to do a whole lot of walking around in this game. 
Uh, I can actually even in principle do this seated, although I just find it more immersive to get up and move. So we're gonna do this quickly because I already did this in video one, although the audio levels were, you know, completely borken. So um, here goes. Um, I'm doing this mostly as a quick demonstration of how the game works uh, because I may just repurpose this as my first video in this series and put the other ones on the back burner. So as you can see, I'm basically just doing hand over hand, um, just moving my hands to where I, where the grip is in front of me. I can move my hands uh, left and right. It doesn't allow me to rotate, uh, sort of um, pivot left and right. This is me actually moving my whole body and not my hands. Um, and uh, I, I don't know if I would have preferred if they would have allowed me to pivot with my hands as well, but that's okay. It's a mechanic you get used to. So as you can see, as I hold on with both hands, no stamina loss. If I hold on with one hand, one of them gets tired, and there's a way to mitigate that, and we'll get that to that later on. You're doing really well. We You've we'll reached climb. a safe point. If you fall after this, we'll restart back here. Okay. Now, they're suggesting that I chalk, and that's a good idea because the sweatier your hands are, the um, faster you run out of stamina as you try to grip harder to maintain your position on the rock. So, I'm gonna go with one hand, quickly shake, grab. All right, I'll go with the other hand, quickly shake, grab. And now I can just move across. Hand over hand, here we go. Some grips are just out of reach. Try stretching your arms to get to this one. Holding a grip that's too far from your body can decrease stamina. Okay, as you can see, I've got my hands backwards on the wall because I actually have my arms crossed over. And now I'm just gonna reach up, grab, and then grab the other hand, and reach up. You can also lean your body to get those really difficult grips. Okay, here's the problem. If I leap, uh, grab that with my left hand, I gotta do a big overhand reach to get the other one with my right. So instead, right hand, then left, then right, and then cross over with my left. All right, here we go. Up and up and up. You really get your arms moving doing this. Some climbs are quite complex. If you get lost, press the hint button to see your route. Okay, so we'll do that. The hint button says... Looks like you need to get around this corner. Try okay. leaning your body around it. Now, one of the th uh, aspects of this game is when you go to... Uh, Go around a coal. Gotta grab both hands because I'm not going through the section of the tutorial where it shows you how to avoid running out of stamina. So I can lean around, but my hands remain pinned, and I'm basically doing this by pivoting my arms around, maybe pivoting my hips a little bit, but I'm not actually technically facing into this. Well, I guess I kind of am because I'm pivoting on my hips, right? But the minute I grab this, it reorients me on that hand. That takes a little getting used to, because it's not, not quite what you expect. But that's okay. It also means, though, that if you just grab like this, it reorients you facing the correct, um, the correct handhold. So really what it's doing is you will always face the way that your last hand grabbed. So if I reach over just like this and grab, it'll just reorient me. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. Do I feel like I would prefer to pivot with my hands? I don't know. But anyway, just keep climbing. I'm getting technical on... Again, lean your body to look around the corner. Gameplay details that don't really matter because of... Uh... Oh, and I'm getting sweaty, so here we go. Ready? Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. And you can see that my stamina was running out quite a bit quicker when I didn't have my hands chalked. I was getting sweaty. Some grips can only be reached Ooh. by jumping. Press the jump button to leap in the direction you're looking. Remember, you need to release the grip button to grab the new grip. Okay. So you also lose stamina by jumping or falling. Okay. So that jump button is there as a really big convenience. Um, it's a sort of a very arcadey thing to do. Hit a button and do a jump, and then you just get your hands into the position you want. What I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to reef down on my hands, just, you know, with my hands way up in front of me. Whoops, uh, that's me putting my head through the wall. Uh, I'm gonna wave my arms down quickly and then leap up, and I feel that's just part of the immersion of the game, but fortunately, they've allowed you to do that, so let's see if I can do that. Ready? And, whoa! Nope, nope, re-grab. Okay, let's try that again. Go faster this time. Oh, wow. 
okay, I don't know if I can do this with the downward hand motion instead of using the jump button, but let's try anyway. One more time. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow. That is a really hot, hard jump. One more time. And... You can also jump oh, by wow. looking into the direction you want to go. It is doable. Off from the, wall. the button would have been Keep easier. hand you pushed with and reach out to take another grip. Before jumping, okay, make around. sure your body is not too close to the wall. Okay, here we go. Uh, push and release. Uh, right, push and release. And this is basically me throwing myself to the next handhold. And actually, so they're teaching me what I did automatically. So maybe I'll do this one by way of actually using the jump button, just for giggles. Here we go. All right. So the one advantage using the jump button is you can get your hands. You've reached the top. Now place both hands on the ledge and pull yourself up by pushing down both controllers. Your hands. Congratulations. Are... Remember, here at the checkpoint, we pause time until you're ready to move on. You can get your hands in position ahead of time when you use the jump button and then just sort of receive the incoming wall. Like I said, I, I do what I'm doing with the th throwing my hands down as an action for the jump, mostly as a bit of immersiveness. That being said, I'm not really that sure that uh, people actually doing rock climbing would uh, move in such a fashion to do a jump. I don't know. Anyway, so um, let's go quickly through the Zen Bay Easy, which I did in my very first attempt for this video. This will be a good warm up. Then I'll do an easy one on one of the other, uh, on the next mountains challenge, then I'll do something more difficult. I know I'm retreading old ground here, if you've seen my other video. But I'm disappointed at the audio quality, so I've decided to do this again. I will take occasional look at my chat window to see if anybody shows up. Nobody has. I don't expect uh, very many people to, but they do happen from time to time. The problem is, is I have no way to, to project that into my quest. It'd be a nice thing to be able to do to have uh, like a, a window panel that I can bring into this space. Perhaps somewhere down the road there will be more elaborate operating systems for this sort of device, but uh, there we are. Oh, I guess I have to actually hit the play button. Wouldn't that be useful? Shock your hand, hold the chalk button, shake the control. Yes, good advice. Okay, so here we go. Now we're standing on, on a platform overlooking the ocean, lovely seaside village, and our target's somewhere way up there, which we'll eventually get to. All right. So, again, retreading old ground, but uh, we're going to do this again. So we're just going to go hand over hand, pull ourselves up to here. I can hold on with two hands and we're all good. I realize I didn't do the advanced tutorial. And I will let uh, anybody interested in the advanced tutorial go through that because I will demonstrate the activities that will be done in that tutorial anyway. All right, so I'm just going hand over hand and grabbing the uh, the white surface. Now you can see that there's actually several paths to go to get places in this, so I'm just going to pick one. Some of the challenges have you go particular routes and you perform particular tasks as you're doing it, etc., etc. Um, but for basic climbing, it's just getting there and enjoying the experience, trying not to fall. Now, me looking around here. This feels, for example, I'm going to do something that, I, that wasn't demonstrated in the demo, but I can let go and hold on with one hand as long as I keep the trigger within a certain region here. That's the sort of half puck level, half trigger level, whatever you want to call it. I can just uh, hold on with one hand and look around with my other hand out here. And I can tell you that this here looks like a large uh, stalactite descending down from above me, and it's like right in front of me reach out and touch it if I had like some sort of, I don't know, 
finger sensation on the controllers. Um, which I don't, obviously. Um, but this is this feels like I'm suspended over an open space instead of standing uh, on my apartment floor. So here we go. We're going to keep on going. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do something here, which is to exchange hands. I'm going to prepare to grab with one hand, let go with the other, and then just hand off. But my hands are running out of stamina. So I'm going to let those calm down. And I'm going to use that half trigger trick to hold myself conveniently on the side here. Okay, and now we can just go where we like. Uh, now, down isn't really an option. I mean, I could fall down to those lower areas, but that's part of a lower route. So we're just going to hand over hand, get ourselves. over to this checkpoint. More hand over hand. Okay. It is a very pretty environment. I can't wait to see what uh, games like this can do with uh, like, you know, next generation systems. Whew. Well, isn't that interesting? So we could go down and around the underside of that, or we could go up and over. So why don't we go down? Because that looks like it could be interesting. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, had to let go to grab that and as you can see uh, I could have probably come at this route from that way over there originally so I've just sort of taken a longer route sort of arbitrarily here so we're going to rechalk my hands so I'm sitting here babbling normally this uh, chalk pouch should probably be on my hip Fortunately, I don't have to do anything more complicated than sh pull a button and shake my hands for this. So I'm going to go under the lip of this boulder, some, you know, 100 feet above the ground or more. Uh, but you can see that my path doesn't actually continue down here. I actually am meant to go up. So let's go up and up and up, all the way up. Just hand over hand, pulling the trigger to grab. Now, hand over hand this way. Let's try going under. Uh, now, one of the things I could have done is actually headed over there. So the question is, is am I just heading back? This may be me just heading back, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. That's just heading back. So, oh, my actual target is to actually cross that road, that uh, wooden path. I don't think there's a way for me to avoid that. I, I could have come a different direction. No, I came up that way. Yeah. All right, so up we go. Onto the platform. Now I can stand here and I can walk around a little bit on my immediate platform. Okay. Isn't that interesting? All right, up onward and upward. That first grab, it uh, it actually does a little bit of, uh, gives you a little bit of help and uh, pulls the cliff over to you, or pulls you over to the cliff, however you want to interpret it. Uh-oh. Okay. Chalk the hands. Okay. You might think, why not just always use that half-trigger method? And that's actually remarkably hard to do reliably, um, for me anyway. Um, when I'm uh, when I'm in great, a great deal of motion, but as you can see, I can hold it reasonably well, so we're going to try to do this leap. I don't always get this, but prime my hand to grab ahead of time, and leap. There we go. Yep. And now we can just hand over hand. So it's easier just to pull the full trigger to do quick grabs than it is to try to get that half trigger thing. At least for me. Now I think we could go, what happens if we do go down? Um, oh, we could actually go over that side instead of going up. Okay, let's do that.
hand over hand, hit a checkpoint. And because you can go forward and backward on a lot of these routes, and some, oh, and that's me falling. And why did that happen? Because I ran out of stamina, my hands were getting sweaty, so my stamina was running out really fast, and I couldn't get uh, two hands on the cliff fast enough, and I wasn't uh, cognizant of all this enough to be able to get myself in this careful one-hand relaxed pose, like they can do here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm always looking to stabilize with two hands when I need to do a think. Unless I don't have any other choice. So I'm going to lean way out. I don't know if I can do that. Nope, nope, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Press too hard in on the trigger, started losing stamina. All right, here we go. I might have to do a leap on this one. Okay, here we go. Oh. One of the things that I think uh, was that I will comment on now and again, which I don't think was a great design. Actually, let's see which way it's expecting me to go. Yeah, it's expecting me to go that way. Um, is that uh, occasionally when you go to grab, well, it handles the head through rock case by just turning the screen black. Solves some problems, causes others, and one of the problems is if you get your hands grabbing a thing in, a, in an odd way, um, it occasionally uh, puts your head through the rock when you don't expect it, which often happens in leaps. So, the consequence of that ends up being uh, that you have to move your hands around to find out a way to get your head out of it, and by that time you've probably lost your grip on the rock. Don't know if there's a really easy way to solve that, but just hoping in more future versions of the game. I haven't tried the climb too, maybe they fixed it there. All right, here we go. See, it's... For whatever reason, it decided that it was holding me like this against this rock. I guess because of the way that my body was turned when I left one and grabbed the other. It was slightly irritating. Um, some sort of mechanism of reorientation did not work well. But, it's a minor quibble because most of the time that doesn't happen. This means you have to be prepared for things to go a little bit south. Most specifically when you do leaps and are suddenly and abruptly grabbing something on your way by. Alright, here we go. Still lots of fun. Alright. And then here, can we grab this? We can. And, uh, all right. Now, I've got a couple of ways to go here. I think I will go to the left this time. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. You see, this is a two-finger hold. As long as I've got two hands, I'm okay, but that's a really precarious hold, so I'm just going to be a little bit more careful here. See, again, head going through that, right? Let's see if we can't go under. Is this the way you want me to go? No, it is not. So actually, coming over here would have maybe taken me, well, let's find out where this would have gone. See, that would have gone up and over this, uh, over the arch. Um, oh. No, I guess this is just an alter alternate route. And we could have come as if we went right from our initial platform instead of left. So this is just an alternate route. We can go under the arch and then up and over. And we're gonna chalk the old hands. Hand over hand, lock in. And now we're gonna go up. Whew. I'm already starting to feel this in my arms. It's amazing, actually, how even though I'm really only lifting the controllers, um, moving your hands about fast enough to do this when you want to get into motion. I have no idea where that route would have come from. Interesting. Very lovely.
So that is the very easiest uh, level once you pass the practice tutorials. So we're going to go on to one that I have not done in my other series yet, uh, or my other two videos. We're going to go into the Alps. We're going to do the easy one in the Alps. There we go. What I will probably do is mark this as an intro video and have the other two as extras. I think this is just a better, better starting setup. Here we go. Wow. All right. Uh, okay. So we're on a wooden platform, literally in a mine, like it suggested. I haven't done this one in a long while. So let's give it a go. Oh, uh, yeah, that one should be fine. Uh, up and over or down and under? Yeah, we'll go down. Checkpoint. Uh oh. I have to do a leap here. Okay, so get myself at half. half trigger and let's try ready <gasps> yeah that's fine let everything calm down is there anything over here there is we can actually go wow uh okay uh, it might be an easter egg i'm not sure but in order to get to it we're going to have to do a fairly sizable leap here. All right, let's see if I can grab here. Actually, let's get chalked. Because that landing is going to be rough. All right, here we go. No! All right. Well, of course, now I have to get there. So, this is now a point of pride. Now, I can actually reach, I can actually reach that. I don't think there's any way for me to reach that except for a leap. So, here we go again. Oh, almost, almost. take to get over there. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can do this from further up. Probably, maybe. Alright. Give, giving myself a good position here. Alright, here we go. Just another checkpoint. Oh, hello. All right. Well, this only goes to prove. Explore. Because you will... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, hang on. I did not know this was up here. Or at least I, well, may not have known this was up here. Can I reach this? Yes, I can. Check. Oh, so my head intersects with something. Can I... I can't pull my head through this. Oh, because of that beam up there. Okay. All right, so it's literally hand over hand. I could never do this in school. Always oh, just a little too heavy, a little too strong, or a little too weak in the uh, upper muscles. But uh, this gets my muscles moving in a new funky way. I can do this. All right. Can I grab this? No. Grab that. And I'm locked in. Okay, so looking around, let's uh, hand over hand this way. Okay. Okay. Hand back, hand forward. I'm not 
going to be able to reach that is their alchemies go up. Don't need to do anything clever here. It's, I mean, this is supposed to be an easy level. So m almost everything. I took like the most hard way to get around uh, that first that first bit by doing the hand over hand thing. I did not have to do a route quite that tricky, but I felt like it. Plus, it was fun to explore. Okay. All right. Come on, up we go. All right. Well, what are our options here? All right. Recenter myself in my apartment, and the wall is beside me. So. Oh. Hang on. Here we go. Hand over hand, plain and simple. Wow. I don't appreciate the scenery sometimes. Now, where am I going? Seems to be mostly an up route, but I'm gonna stay as low as I can and draw this out a little bit. Now, peeking around this corner, there doesn't appear to be anything there. But I can go up. I'm not going to be able to go up without a bit of a jump, though. So here goes nothing. <sighs> yep. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. All right. I really can't uh, express uh, how much it feels like I'm dangling over a very long drop. Somewhere in the Swiss Alps. Because you just can't convey that on a 2D screen. It's not very easy. All right. But keep an eye out for any Easter eggs, any routes that would not normally be traversed. There are... Oh, how lovely. A little bit of a waterfall. Okay. All right, and up. Uh, okay. Looking around to see if there's anything interesting to investigate. Interesting routes, as it were. Now, does this just go back and over? I think so, but just check anyway. Where does that even go? It doesn't really seem to go anywhere. It doesn't seem like you would have gotten here from somewhere. Except maybe down there. Okay, well, in any case, our true route, which we can double check with the magic where am I going button. It's saying, go that way somewhere. Way out. Doesn't mean I have to follow that route, but it's a pretty good indication of a rough direction to go. All right. I'm getting a bird's eye view. Oh. Chalk the hands of that uh, river and the, you know, thousand foot waterfall below us. Uh, up and over or across? Let's go across. Alright. Up and over and down and across. What happens if we go down here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Get both hands on everything, thank you. I'm kind of curious as to what's over here. Now, that could be going back on a path, but you never know. Okay, chalk. I'm really spending too much time chalking, if I'm honest. But... Oh, so. Looks like we can take this route up the river instead of down or across. Oh, yeah, see, we're just coming around to the other side of the same hunk of mountain. Now, it's recommending we go up here, and that's totally fine. OK. 
Okay, no routes that way. Several over here. Um, now granted, this is the beginner of the Alps level, but it is uh, the Alps level. So things are a little bit tougher than just uh, a really beginner's reach. This does require a leap. So here we go. We're gonna try to do this one-handed so I have the other hand prepared for a grab. Here we go. <laughs> Easiest way to do a jump. One-handed leap uh, with uh, with the other hand already pre-prepped to grab. You don't have to do much except wait for your hand to come in contact. Which makes life about a million times easier. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, watch your stamina. Everybody paying attention? That you are now. And why am take a peek is anybody in my chat channel no they are not so we're going to continue on our merry way here and they are suggesting where are they suggesting as a direction just generally up oh, I see let's try going this way No, I don't think I can go under. No, I can't. So, oh. Okay. All right. Whew. Whew. All right. All right. Hand over hand over hand over hand over hand over hand over hand. And up. Check out that view. All right. All right. Yeah, funny, right? On a computer screen, you just can't get that sense of depth. I can tell you I'm looking down. I can look down. I can move side to side to give you an idea of the parallax. Also where the bounds of my apartment are. But I can't give you the sense of how far down that actually looks. All right, so we're gonna do another recentering. So thumbstick there. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna be a little bit better positioned in my apartment. How about uh, right about uh, here? To give you an idea of what that means, I'm gonna walk out into open space because that won't actually harm me. I don't actually have legs, and it doesn't really pay attention to that. But there is the edge of my, I think everybody can see that. That's probably my wall. Yep, I can feel my solid wall there because that's where I put my guardian. So, always good to keep yourself centered in games that have a centering mechanism, and always pay attention to your guardian. Okay. Okay. Where do we wanna go? That's what. It's been a lot of time going sideways, let's just go up. We are getting super sweaty, so we're going to fix that right now. Uh, yeah, this is the way we're supposed to be going. Hand over hand over hand. I wonder if actual rock climbers do hand-over-hand -hand stuff. I would expect they would probably... I don't know. First advice I'd be giving myself is to not go hand-over-hand -hand and just go hand-to-hand. -hand. But it is a game. I'm cheating just a little bit by doing game things. I'll live with the shame. Alright. Oh, hello. That would be an Easter egg, and one I haven't found yet. So at various uh, points uh, on these peaks are little cameras, often tucked away into nooks or down paths that are a little bit more obscure to travel, sometimes even down complete dead ends. This kind of is in the sense that you don't have to go up and around that. If you went down and under, like I was going to originally, you would have entirely missed that, which is why I haven't found it until now. So there you go. 
also encourages you to explore the mountain. So it's not just about climbing this thing. It's also about having a good look around. Oop, long reach. Okay. Up or down. Down doesn't seem to lead anywhere. It's more like where you would go to if uh, you did a leap and didn't make it and caught yourself on the way down. We could go take a look at what it's like down there. There is nothing down here. Looking around, no, there is nothing down here. So, back up we go. Oh, and we have a rendering glitch. Hey QA, come fix this. <laughs> Can you spit out for a while? They're not going to do anything about something that tiny. Uh, I can imagine actually trying to find all the visual glitches in this game would be quite challenging. Um, uh, trying to avoid a leap there. Um, given kind of how big this mountain is, I'm not going to lie. Being a little more confident because I'm chalking as I'm moving. Oh, hello. I guess that's an Easter egg. I kind of feel bad about making him explode. All right. I don't recall that being an Easter egg in the game, but it's been a while since I've played. Maybe I found others. Okay, well you can imagine what this is about. Now some of these lines actually have, the gra have you grab the line. This is clearly not about that. All right, here we go. It's only going to actually start me sliding the minute I let go with the other hand, or get both hands on it. Yep. Yeah, that's a bit much. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. That is completely insane. All right. I was going to see if they actually modeled momentum in a sensible way, but I guess actually having people uh, fall in an arc would kind of be disconcerting. I don't know. I would have found it immersive, but I guess they kind of want to sell the game to people who <laughs> have a wide variety of tolerances for motion sickness goofiness something by the way of which i'm not completely immune i do not like sustained slow or pseudo slow rotations in place that i am not personally doing that that throws me off pretty badly okay can i reach yes i can and hand over and and up to the checkpoint one game in which that was a problem for me was uh, an early VR game ad adapted from a non-VR game, which, by the way, doesn't always work that well. In fact, it almost never works that well. There are a few exceptions. Um, the Vanishing of Ethan Carter. It's a fun little sort of mystery game, which I quite enjoyed. Um, and I even enjoyed it in VR, but they adapted sort of um, uh, controller, console controller controls um, that were already in the game to the thumbsticks on like your you know quest 2 controllers and whatever and turning with that was absolutely awful and they also had a really kind of a terrible go where you look mechanic if you're pushing forward and then glanced off to the right you would actually travel that way which if you were already in motion was really disconcerting it was very bad implementation on top of what was otherwise a fairly fun game to experience in vr now let's go down because at least looks temporarily interesting. Oh yeah, look at that. There is... Is that sunlight or is that a gravel? I think that's just sunlight. I do not want to drop down there to find out because I'm sure I'm going to die. Um, although... No, see, that is not a gravel surface and I'm guessing the, mark, the markings down there are just not... Not gravel. All right. 
and we went up sort of flew, as it were. All right, lots of ways to go up here. Let's just uh, let's just get on with the activity of climbing. Uh, we'll reach over here so we can get that checkpoint. Get my hands moving a little faster. Get a little more exercise. A little more diverting. This oh god, oh god. Okay, crab, crab. Can I grab that? I can just grab that. Okay. Turning my hands to grab these sideways, it just seems like a natural thing to do. Okay. Uh, can we go around here? Yes, we can. And let's, in fact, let's go all the way over around to... Nope, nope. There's nowhere else to go that way. So up we go, we grab the edge, and we have climbed to the top of this magnificent peak. Yeah. All right. Take a quick moment to take a sip of something. counting up a score I don't really care too much about. All right, so let's, uh, I, I did the beginner on the Alps just to do something new this stream. I'm gonna go back and do something I've done in one of the other two videos. I'm gonna do the high, high sky, the hard canyon level. Perfect challenge, don't die chalk or rewind for an extra bunch of points. Not chalking on the way up means do it quickly do it with your stamina running out really fast. And don't make any mistakes. You know what? That's not a challenge I'm all that interested in trying to do. Getting some exercise and uh, seeing the sights is one thing. Um, and going exploring is, uh, is pretty cool too. But some of these challenges are uh, just a little bit too hardcore for me. All right, so. This is gonna involve uh, new challenges, which I'll try to describe as I'm dying horribly. All right, so here we go. First grab. All right, so this is simple enough so far, except it is taking you around that corner rather abruptly, which uh, is a little bit disconcerting. Okay, reach this, yes, and then hand over to here, so that's fine. Okay, first of the new challenges. Stuff on the ledges and breakable ledges. That one's breakable. You can see that it's slightly shattered. This one looks stable. I'm gonna brush off a surface. And the one that's way below me there is painful. <laughs> so I don't know why anybody would go down there. There might be something at the very bottom. It's kind of interesting to ask the question. Uh, all right. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I'm gonna have to drop, drop, grab. That's gonna hurt. Drop to that one and then drop all the way down. There's gonna be rough. Nope, and it's already broken. Okay. I'm going to probably die here, but let's find out what happens. Yeah. All right. We're going to, uh, we're gonna chop for one thing. All right. Here we go. Try to do a half grab on the way down. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, all the way down. All right, well, that wasn't clean at all. Uh, so the question is, is there something of interest down there? And you know I have to check that out somehow, but I don't think I can do it from this side. So let's try doing this and then brush off that and grab that and slowly make my way down. Oh, whoa! Glad it allowed me to recover that. Come on. Check that out. 
I can only imagine that that one and that one are maybe ways back up because I can't imagine descending that. At least I don't know how to do it that smoothly. Okay. Okay. Let's just descend. Okay. Here we're going to have to switch hands. Hand over to here. Oh. I am super curious what's around that corner. I don't know if I did this route the last time I was uh, on this mountain. I really don't remember. But I'm feeling kind of punchy. Wow. That's a long drop, but I might be able to do that. All right, here we go. God, okay. <laughs> Switch hands, re-chalk, switch hands again. Okay, I gotta do that one quick and get around that corner. And actually, if I grab with my right hand, I'm not gonna be able to make that one with my left hand, so I actually, God, this is gonna be rough. Okay, here we go. Transfer hands. Can I, yep. And around and around and around. I think I actually did this route the last time I was on this mountain. Well, now you get to see it again. Oh, that one's gonna be tricky. I might be able to go down. Yeah, I did take this route because I think I got a camera off of that, that checkpoint or something down there. Maybe. All right, let's. Uh, Okay. It does look like a checkpoint down there, doesn't it? I don't know if I can do this smoothly, and I don't think there's a place for me to grab here. Uh, could try. No. Nope. Oh, God. Nope. All right. So getting to that ledge is problematic. Uh, I don't want to leap because I'll just miss. Like what I have to do, is, I'm, and I'm pretty sure I must have done this this way last time, is to do this. <laughs> well, that was less good than it could have been. Take two. Arm way, way up, hand in. That was tough. So those ledges break. If you're not fast, you're done. Oh, hello. <laughs> I, uh, I can't believe I uh, actually found that little UFO tucked into the wall there. All right, all right, let's see if we can do this. I am not, not really that flexible. Okay. And there we go. Just get prepared to get on half trigger really, really fast. Okay, okay. Get my hands switched. Let's get some chalk on these babies. I don't know why I'm insisting on doing this goofy thing, but all right. So I gotta go one, two, and around the corner. Ready? Here we go. One. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna have to do a jump. All right. All right. Maybe I can. Nope. I am gonna have to do a jump. Could use the jump button. I'm trying to avoid doing that. Nope. Okay. Okay. I can do a handoff and then 
to hand over. Here we go. Grab, switch hands, grab, almost, almost. It thought that I was doing a jump. Grab, switch hands. Oh. Almost, almost. All right, here we go. Get myself prepped. Faster than that. Nope, without leaving. Whew. I'm stubborn. Got it. So the way I did that was half strength grab on the rock, quick switch to the other hand, reach across to this one, but I had to get this one in a half uh, half puck, half trigger grab, whatever you want to call it, fast enough because I only have the one hand here. And my next handle is way around the corner here. Oh wow! Okay, well I couldn't have done that without di without dying. Pardon me. Couldn't have done that without dying. I'm just not that good. But uh, oh god, uh, I don't know if I can do this because I think that second one has stuff on it. But we'll try. Nope, it does not. That one does. Okay, switch hands. Brush that off. Where am I going? All right. Oh. Boy, this really gets you moving in positions you never thought you'd be doing. Oh. Well, me anyway, because I'm out of shape and that's part of why I'm doing this. Uh, flexibility, though. Uh, interesting to put a breakable handhold right above a solid one. I'm not going to ask questions. Okay. Okay. All right. Oops. Head's intersecting with an object. That's okay. That's okay. Here we go. And or we're hand on the rope. Slightly less crazy than the zip line. In the sense that I have control over this. Okay. Oh god. Uh no alternative here. But to reach down and do a quick move over to the other handholds. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Feeling pretty proud of myself there. That's not so bad. Okay. And up, up. Oh, oh, no, oh. That's bad. It's really bad. Nope. Alright, so things started breaking, and then I was grabbing with one hand, and then trying to grab with the other but I was already running out of stamina and so it was just left right left right always slipping and losing my losing my grip so a sensible thing to do among other things you can do is make sure you're chopped before you do something like this or just move faster okay oh there it is again I did the same thing again I've got a problem because now I don't have a rock right there but I can move quickly all right Wow. Okay, let's get myself recentered here. Peeking out under my visor, giving myself a quick. Uh, not didn't move me far, but that's okay. Let's lay a safety measure. Now we got to go up and probably around, right? So let's get on with that. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh. God. Okay. Nope, nope, didn't fling myself off hard enough. It just considered that a drop. Turns out that uh, detecting flings, as it were, on these controllers is remarkably hard. At least hard to do reliably. All right. I'm going to skip that and just do a leap here.
All right, hand over hand as I descend. Where are my routes? Okay, my routes are leading me down. Inexorably down. Inexorably, there is a checkpoint down there, which would be nice to get. Oh. Uh, but how would I have gotten? That's interesting. Am I meant to? I don't know where I'm meant to go exactly. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can't. I'm not going to be able to reach that. I seem to recall I had this problem the last time I did that. And I don't want to drop onto that because that's got pain. Um, I kind of want to drop down into there actually. Okay. I don't think I can make that jump. If I launch, I'm likely to launch myself into the rock face and just fall. It's not really clever about that. Um, really? Is that what I gotta do? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Super, super weird. Can I get down to it this way? No, because that just leads me down into a hole. So it's like there's this thing that I can get to that's. Uh, all right, well, let's try this one now. Okay, I'm not sure what the trick is to this one then. Not yet. What happens if I... Not that. But I could see just as I was falling that there is an underside to that ledge. So I guess I am sort of meant to go there and then under. But then the question is, what's that? Alright, so let's see if I can do this by landing on this rock. I suppose if I got to there, I could leap across to there. And I bet you there's something there for me to grab, too. Now, oh, let's try this. All right. I'm going to figure out how to reliably do that. And I don't want to use the jump button if I can avoid doing it. Here we do this. Maybe if I leap from here, actually. All right, here we go. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So that second ledge was a bit of a red herring. At least I haven't figured out how to do like short jumps yet. All right. But now there's something over there. So here we go. Okay. So I've got my checkpoint. Isn't that interesting? So I could go across, or I could go down and under. And you know now that I'm down here, I have to check this action out. Oh, except I'm going to have to do that. Is this a grabbable thing? It is. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, Peggy, that'll do. All right, can I? Come on. No, 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 this is bad. All right. Switch hands. There we go. Is this a... Uh... Don't know what that is. Whoa. OK. 
Okay, let's uh If you think this looks dark to you, that's because it looks dark to me too. The uh, the hard versions of these maps are all done in the dark. Oh. Uh, okay. Now I could go up and over, but I have to be super quick about it. Where is it suggesting I go, incidentally? It's not actually recommending I go anywhere specific. Um, if I went up and over, I got to do it super fast. That last one I'd probably have to it looks like it has a plant or something on it. I think I want to take the lower route. Let's try it anyway. All right. Okay. Hand off, hand off, hand off. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I can actually grab this. Okay. Was I always meant to do this? Is there no other way? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But it is saying it down is the right way to go. I wonder if there's another way to do this. I don't remember the last time I did this hard, uh, this particular mount. I, I'm super curious as to whether or not that, I don't, I mean, there's rarely only one route. All right. Okay, this is this is a new thing. Uh, right, I gotta basically leap across. Can I grab the other side of this? Don't think so. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's unfortunate. go oh yeah yeah that was a thing let's do that again so I don't think I can reach this actually I might be able to yes I can I think that was the only way to come down here I'll have to try that road again and try to go up and over rather than... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Ready? Let's get ourselves re-centered in the room. Yes, okay. It's nothing says you're climbing a little too high as to when you're being scouted by helicopters. All right. Checkpoint. Oh, I have no idea where to go. Can we actually... Uh, not a gravel ledge, that's fine. Oh, no, no. Okay. All right, so there's a checkpoint. Didn't appear to be any other way to go. Uh, oh, hello. I see a slightly easier route. Very subtle. Uh, 
except I want to reach out with that hand because then I can do that. Then I can do oh that. A little bit of a reach. New walls. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Switch hands, reach across. That was a long stretch. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm not gonna be able to reach across that, so. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this. Get myself prepped. Okay, switch hands. Pain, which as you can see, not only eats up stamina, but also causes me to red out, which is not fun. Um, or I could just leap up. You know, get some glory, right? Oh my god! Oh, I think I pulled something. No, probably not. Just, just muscles. It's all right. I can imagine speedrunners of this are quite scary. Okay, okay. Okay. Problem is you can't partially grab though the the thorn bushes. Uh, I mean you you can, um, but it starts to hurt right away. Uh, that's not a lip I can grab, I'm pretty sure. So, all right. Oh God, that's a right reach. Okay. That's gonna be a trick. Okay. Okay. And then here, and then here. That's up. Oh. <laughs> Celebratory fireworks in the town in the distance? I'll take it. Oh, actually, a couple of sets of fireworks, actually. I'll take all of that. Okay, this is nutty. Man, you could dive off this thing in a squirrel suit. Note, I am not diving off this thing in a squirrel suit. All right. I may do a little bit more of this this evening. We'll have to see. It's been a long day. I haven't had much sleep, so I think that's where I'm going to call it on this one. But it has been delightful, and I think that was, uh, that, uh, I can still see my audio levels are behaving themselves, so that the game isn't clipping and drowning everything else out. So, thank you so much for joining me on this stream. This is Code Weaver Plays Games, and I'll see you in my next stream.